missing that key player to complete the God Squad. Well, check out Buy My Coins for instant delivered Madden coins and be sure to use code SAVAGE at checkout for 10% off. Yo, guys, what is going on? It's Savage here, and this is episode three of Film Study with Savage. This is one of my favorite series to do because this series helps all of you. It's a series meant to elevate your gameplay in Madden every single Sunday, obviously once a week, man, and it is super dope to see the support. So if you guys could smack a like on the button so I know next Sunday you guys are 100% ready for another episode. But with all of that being said, throughout the week, I've been reading through the comments. I've been looking for what you guys have been wanting to see me break down and help you out with and something huge that I've noticed in my comment section is how to break down reading and defense how to read a like if it's cover two if they're coming out in cover three if it's cover four what can I do to immediately know when I hike the ball what's gonna happen what's gonna go on what everything is gonna look like so I know what reads to make or where to run etc etc and with all of that um you know it's really not that difficult, uh, to be honest with you. It's not that hard to read a defense, believe it or not. Um, and we do have, the, obviously, you guys see the diagram up right here. And I'm going to be showing you a cover four diagram, cover two diagram, and a cover three diagram right now. But we're not going to actually be breaking down how to read it in here. I'm just going to show you how it kind of can confuse people. And then once we actually go on the Madden, you guys will see how to exactly read it. And you'll be like, oh my God, that's all I have to do. That's all I've had to do for all these years of Madden. And I hope this definitely helps you guys out. And I really think it will because... I, I, it's not the hardest. It really is not hard. Trust me. It, it, you guys will get a hang, get the hang of reading a defense in like 0.2 seconds as soon as I'm done explaining a few things. And now we're just going to hop over here to our beautiful, nice little diagram of cover four. So right here you see a cover four, right? And like I said, we're not going to break down on how to identify the cover four until we're actually on the Madden game. But right here in our little diagram, we are going to be breaking down how a cover four can look like a cover two and a cover three simply by your opponent base aligning and if you know what base aligning is it's just pretty much disguising your defense i'll show you the other uh screenshots in a second but as you can see right here the safety and the, the two safeties right here in the cover four are lined up to like the outer hips of the two tackles the left tackle and the right tackle that's because your opponent base aligned, which means you click triangle, left stick to the right, or Y, left stick to the right. And what that's going to do is, is it's going to disguise your defense. If you base align, it is going to make a cover two look like a cover three, and a cover three is going to look like a cover four, and a cover four is going to look like a cover three, and a cover four is going to look like a cover two. So your, your opponent on the, like, if you're playing offense and your opponent is constantly base aligning, they you're on the offense you're gonna be like oh my god i don't know if he's in cover four this play because last time it looked just like this but he was in a cover three and you're gonna be like i don't know what to do and you're gonna panic and you might start quick reading or you might start picking plays that you think oh wait he's in cover four and you pick a cover four beater but guess what it was actually a cover two and then you get screwed over so you really really have to pay attention in a way to your opponent's tendencies on how to read the defense and also well, like I said, we will break this down once we get into Madden, the actual gameplay. But the only reason I wanted to show you guys this quick little screenshot is because cover four, like I said, a cover four can look just like a cover two. Remember what I said, man. Remember, the hips on the outside. Now I'm going to show you a screenshot of cover two. Just remember, look at how the safeties are lined up in a cover four. We are now looking at a freaking cover three. Hmm, look at it though. Look at how the hips of the safeties are literally in the exact same position of where the tackles are. Guess what? If you come out on offense and you see them originally run a cover four with the hip with the safety set like that at the top, and the next play, the, sa the safeties are set just like that at the top, would you bet that it's a cover four again? You probably would. You'd probably be like, oh my God, he's in cover four again. I got him. I know exactly what I want to do, but now he's in cover three. So you could see how a cover four and a cover three can look identical, and so can a cover two, but I did not take a screenshot of cover two because we're just going to break that down in a second in Madden. But I just wanted to show you this, these two quick little pictures just to show you that, yes, your opponent could easily be coming out in a cover four. They could easily be coming out in a cover three, but they could both look exactly the same. But like I said, we're going to hop into Madden now, and I'm going to break it down live for you guys on exactly what to do when you are going up against your opponent and such and like pretty much just like you're going to see a lot a lot it's just gonna it's it's gonna be freaking visual poetry i'll pick it up in one second 
Let's hop on the Madden 18 practice mode. All right, guys. So here we are now in the Madden 18 practice mode. And pretty much all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick just a random play on offense. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go over here in dime. And we are just going to once again go over our coverages that we showed that I showed you guys before. So first, we're going to come out and cover four. And now, Savage, 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 how do you know it's going to be a cover four? So right here at this point in time, do I know it's a cover four? Absolutely not. I have no idea that this is a cover two. But Savage, how do you know as soon as you hike the football that it's going to be a cover four? Well, I'll show you that. Now, in my mind right here, when I see the two corners on the outside, okay, I see the two corners, and that is what I'm reading. That is where I'm looking. If it is a cover four, I will see the corners immediately back up. If it is a cover two, the corners will obviously just kind of stand there for a few seconds to play in their cloud flat or their squat flat or their hard flat. So just watch the corners. I'm going to hike the ball. Look, he's backing up. I got my read right there. Bang. Just like that. I know immediately that it is a cover Four. Pay attention one more time, fellas. Going to show you this again. Then we'll hop in the instant replay. I hike the football. Notice the safety backing up. Bang. Get my read. You know, picking up my two to three yards. It's whatever. You know. But that is what you want to do. And as soon as you analyze that, that that is a cover uh, four. You will be able to do this yourself. So pretty much right here, I'm giving myself the option to immediately throw it to a check down, which I love. I love having a check down. And there it is. You can see the corner is backpedaling. He is not playing down. He is not playing low like that. So I immediately can see. Hey, guess what? I'm going to have a check down wide open. Bang, picking up two or three yards. Now, that's great, right? I mean, I, you could just think about it. If they're coming out and cover four, they're, they're being stubborn with it. I'll float a pass over there, bro. Give me my two or three yards at a time. That adds up. It's very, very grueling against your opponent because your opponent's going to be like, bro, like I can't, I, I keep giving up three yards. And look at this. This time I'm getting over, I'm getting like eight yards, falling forward for eight yards just against the cover four. And like I said, all I'm reading, all I'm looking at, is that corner because I want to throw it to the, put it this way I want to throw it to the right side of the field so what corner am I looking at I'm looking at the right one as soon as I see that the corner starts backpedaling I know I'm gonna have that read now am I rushing the read absolutely I could be waiting a few extra seconds like in reality I could be doing this watch that you see how the uh, how the linebacker kind of cuts back into the middle of the field but I'm just showing you for the purpose of the video as soon as I see on the right side of the field corners backpedaling bang I know I'm gonna have that read that's all I'm saying now obviously you could wait on it you could throw it right away it just depends if you if you think you're gonna have enough time to wait a couple of extra seconds and ready watch the linebacker kind of stops running that way bang I have the read that I want going down for five yards so with that being said now like I said remember your opponent is going to have the ability to of course base line and he's going to be able to have the ability to disguise his defense exactly how he wants it so ready right here we are going to come out in the exact same play corner strike we are coming out in the exact same play except this time now we are going to come out in a tampa two so what did i say last time what did i say remember the hips of the court look at this it looks exactly literally mirrors cover four this is a mirroring defense right now i'm over here like all right guess what he's been giving me that all game right he's been giving me that r1 all game right guess what throw it that time i ain't going nowhere i actually got the drop why because it's cover two now savage how can you identify it's a cover two you're you're, you're probably looking at the screen like bro it literally looks like cover four again all you got to do, once again, where am I looking? I'm looking on that outside because that's how you identify cover two versus cover four. You look on the outside. And where do I want to throw it? I want to throw it on the right side of the screen. I want to throw it on the right side because I got a check down and a post over there. I have a drag. I have a C route. I have a check down on the left side. So ready? Ready? Look. Look how that corner's playing. Corner doesn't start the back pedal right away. That corner's not going back like this. He, start, he plays very, very up. Ready? Look at that. Look at how up he is. You don't throw it until he's very, very back in a Tampa 2 or any cover 2 for that matter. I'm going to show you guys it one more time before we break it down. Remember, cover 4, what do they start to do? As soon as you hike it, you see him go back. Is he going back? Nah, man. Doesn't go back. He kind of played it inside a little bit right there. As you can see, we're just throwing that up in the air just to break it down for you guys. But now we're going to hop into the instant replay to obviously show you exactly what is going on. So in a cover 4, the the the, the, the cornerback will immediately start moving vertically backwards. He will start going backwards. But what do they do in a cover 2? Ready? immediately as look the ball gets hiked right here he's not going backwards he's not going backwards as soon as you see this you 100% know that this is not a cover four you're gonna bank on a cover two 
because look at the look at how low he's playing. He's playing low, so you know it's not a cover three because we're gonna break down cover three in a second. But you know it's not a cover because you know it's not a cover four because of how he plays in. He plays in, just like that. His that's that's the giveaway, and then you just know from there. You know right when you hike the football. Okay, it's not a cover four. Next that next defense that we're going to be breaking down is of course cover three. Because like I said, cover four can look like cover three, cover three can look like cover four, cover three can look like cover two as well. And we're going to go straight back to our same model play. We're going straight back to our nice little um, corner strike. And then we are going to go straight down the dime and we are going to select cover three buzz press. So right here, fellas, as you can see right now, the exact it literally looks identical. Looks damn near identical. Literally the exact same. Legitimately the exact same defense. But this is what you're going to watch for. I'm going to hike the football. And you're going to now, on cover two and cover four, you're looking at the corners. On cover three, you're looking at the safeties. If one of the safeties plays up, then you know it's a cover three. You know it's a cover three. If one of the safeties drops, you know it's a cover three. You know the outsides are going to be deep blues. And you know one of the other safety who doesn't drop is going to be playing in the high middle. So as soon as I hook the football, I see... You saw how, uh, I think that's, who is that, Kenny Vaccaro right there, how he drops. I'm going to hike it again and show you guys once again. Ready? Watch, watch the right of screen uh, safety at the top. How he drops. You immediately know that's cover three. You're going to have that check down right there as well uh, if you're running um, my, whatever, if you're running these little check down plays. I'm going to break this down for you guys really, really quickly now in the instant replay. I'm not watching the corners for a cover three. I'm watching the safeties. I'm watching the safeties. I see Kenny Vaccaro crashes in. So then that means that this guy on the outside and this guy on the outside, they're going to be playing vertically back. And the other safety who's not dropping is going to be playing vertical high. So I immediately know, guess what? He's going to have two deep blues on the sideline, two deep, blue, one deep blue in the back, two yellows in the middle. One of them is going to be a linebacker. One of them is going to be a safety. And then either two curl flats, two hard flats, or two squat flats from the two outside linebackers. And look at this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I, of course, cut it through that 10, 10 minutes earlier, but just for the the purpose of the video i'm just showing you guys exactly how the coverage breaks down so i really do help hope that this helps you out guys now of course you could be like well savage what happens if i'm not sure if it's a cover two cover three cover four bro all you really have to look for right here is you just have to kind of just keep your eyes out on the safety on the left and the corner on the right because of the safety on the if, if the safety on the left plays high on an angle you immediately know it's cover three that's another way you can uh easily digress or um i just said digress easily um diagnose exactly what play it is because how do safeties play on a cover four vertically back on a straight angle how do pay, how do play uh safeties play a cover two angled out to the outside of the sidelines if one of the safeties is playing on an angle to the inside of the end zone see how he's only going into the end zone you immediately know it's cover three. So those are your two ways that you can break down if it's a cover three or not. And I really do hope that this is a this this video helped you guys out, man, because I definitely do love doing this series, man. And I mean, it, it's just all meant to help you guys out, obviously. And I mean, honestly, if you guys do take this, or if you have any questions and you t and you just need them answered, and then you can take this and put it in your scheme to elevate your level of play. I really, really am interested if you guys have any questions or and I want to know how you guys. Um, uh, play. I'm also interested in how you guys play with my tips uh, that I'm giving you guys. And yeah, man, I mean, I really do hope that this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to smack a big fat thumbs up on the bump, man. Be sure to subscribe if you're new as well. Always have a wonderful rest of your night.